Are we alive? Or we aren't coming from you live coming from you coming live from the art studios of ATD Dallas Texas yeah, let's go guys ba -ba 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 -ba. my goodness I have a commercial just to get into my own video we got Teresa in first says hello hey, 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 hey. So we still haven't gotten our Jen. something computer looked at. So we are now and again on phone filming. So let me know if there's any issues like buffering or you can't hear us or anything like that. Let me know. Hope y'all are having an awesome Tuesday. Ours has been uneventful so far, huh? Um, yeah. I took um, a package to a friend of mine that's sending some graffiti supplies to a young gentleman in South Africa. A bunch of people are uh, adding to uh, to this package because he has zero art supplies, graffiti supplies, any kind of decent materials. So um, he wanted stickers and shirts and spray paint caps and just stuff that you can't get there. So was in North Africa. Yeah, like uh, it might have been. I don't know. South Africa? It's a ways away. Somewhere in Africa, this child will not be in need of graffiti supplies. This is true. <gasps> Judy! I can't see anybody on there. So, I am going to pour today on this clock round that we have decided to try and I oh, put shouldn't we put a uh, shouldn't we cover the back we probably should let's get some shelf paper I totally forgot about shelf that paper is I don't know so Jeff's going to um, mask off the back of this for me. I don't even know what show paper is about. It's not over there? No, it's just a bunch of paper. So, while he's doing that, I want to show you guys where I'm at with this piece. I know I said I wouldn't touch it till I went live again, but um, my late night self decided I was gonna. And it looks like this. Hi, Angela. So I added just a couple things. I am going to add, there needs to be more on the top part, but we'll just handle that later. Hey Tia, hey y'all. Thanks you guys. I'm going to try to figure out how to incorporate some of those alcohol ink looks and techniques and things into my resin stuff. I don't know how, but I'm gonna try. Let me, what, why do you act like you're scared of me? No idea. 
Nobody hits the like thumb these days. I don't know what the dealio is today. So we're just using the orange super tape to mask off the back of this because we had to take the back off to take a picture for the listing on the website because we list them as clear so we wanted to make it clear. What's up Petra? How are you doing? So because of that, I am... Do we, do we cover the hole? Um, I like to just wind up a piece of that tape and just put it in there because it's not going to stick to it. I don't know. It's the first clock I've done. There's so many people out there that have done, what's up, Beth? Um, like the vinyl, the records, and made them into clocks. I think you just let it go through it. Because then you ha there has to be a hole there. We're gonna yeah. get hit with that's what she says. I know. I'm, I've I've been trying to be good, biting my tongue a little bit. Can people see how we're doing this? So we've decided that we want to teach a class at our local maker space. And they seem really excited about it. They're real excited about it. All right, let me get a Can we just get some scissors? Brand new. No, we gotta get exacto bleed. Okay. It may be buffering because we're doing this on the um, phone. You go, B. Well, I'm older than I'm here, but I'll always play it better. So, no, the June class is going to be in our studio just like regular, but we're going to teach a class at Makers for the Makers. Toby, what's your process of cutting up it? I'm just going to press this down on the side so it gets a nice, good, grippy, grippy, hard edge so that can't it's easier to cut it. I think I'm just going to. I don't know which way Should I, I should just do that. Make it up. I don't know. Why isn't it? Why can't we see it? Let's see. If we cut this way, then we'll be cutting. Hi, Caledonian. When you guys do this, don't do it like he is. It's dangerous, but he's very experienced with an exacto blade. Put it down on a surface that you don't mind if it gets cut a little bit. You could even put like cardboard down just to protect whatever surface you have. Well, what, why, why not do it like this? It's not like I'm, I mean, my hand is, it's not like I'm holding it like this. <laughs> it's just safer. And I have to say it, whether people listen to me or not, irrelevant. Y'all, I apologize in advance if the doorbell rings. We ordered lunch. What's up, Amber? See that? It's great. For a second, I thought you guys were going to pour on tape. You could. This tape is pretty awesome. Just be careful if you guys use exacto blades. That knife is not a drill, it's not a joke. It looks tiny, but it is mighty. Yes, I know that. 
Sounds good. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Now just make sure you press so that it doesn't go underneath there. Just press it all the way around so you know you're not going to get any leaks because you know resin will find its way. Amber, you could send me some strawberry shortcake. Lucy and Milan sent us a cake one time. I haven't seen her in a while. She's probably busy yet. Um, no, always you remove your cake. From the area. From the area. I just draw in the hole. That's genius, Judy. Okay, I have a straw, and it is too small for the hole. So what I'm gonna do is find the tape, try to rip the tape, I should do this with not gloves on, but yellow. No, it's too big. That's what she said. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this in like a funnel shape so that I don't have any too big situations. It's a lot easier without gloves on. I highly recommend it. Sans gloves. You guys, I saw a creator on YouTube do the um, the rose that I did for Valentine's Day, but they did it like a lot more precisely. So now I'm gonna have to do it again. I want to see if I can do it their way. That's pretty well in there. I know, Jen, I know, so many. So, okay. Color, 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 color. I'm gonna do some white. As you guys know, don't use too much of the base tints in your, that's probably too much, in your resin because your cells won't stay if you add too much of the base tint in your resin. Then I'm gonna need some of my main color, which is gonna be Bondi Blue from Color Obsession. It's a tint, it will be translucent, transparent, whatever kind of trans you want to use to describe see-through. And actually, since I have the straw handy, I'm just going to use it to get this color out. It doesn't take a lot. Only a few drops will do it. You can always build on the color, but it will never be opaque. It will always be transparent. It'll be a lighter transparent or a darker transparent, but it'll always be transparent. That is a beautiful color. Where did it? It's probably in the app. She, she, I was standing out at the door. She knocked on 225. I go, is that delivery? She goes, yeah, for 225. I go, nope. No. And she goes, for Erica? I said, yeah, 226. And she goes, here you go. Oh. She knocked on 225 while I was standing there. So I'm also going to try this raspberry red color from Resin Art. I don't have this in stock yet. I'm going to carry it. I have since the last time I tried it figured out that when you have a flat color um, powder, you need to mix it into just a little bit of alcohol. So that's what I'm going to do. This isn't for any like design or that's probably just enough for too much. Um, any kind of special effects. It's just to make sure you don't get any of those little freckles or tadpoles, however you like to say, in your final piece. And remember, don't do, don't mix your stuff over your, over it because some of these cups, like this one has a little crease in it and other mixing cups have little, little, little things at the bottom of it and they'll skip and jump It'll jump out of your cup onto your piece, so always be careful with that. It's true. I'm only doing it over the piece to show you guys what the color is. 
but best practice at home is to don't. So this is also translucent or transparent color. No matter how much powder you put into it, it will never be opaque, which is fine. Just have to know about it before you use it so you don't make any mistakes. I'm also gonna use Bright Gold Powder by Just Resin. I actually have this back in stock currently at the time of filming. So if you're watching this in two days, don't get mad at me because it's not in stock when you watched the video. Sorry for the movement. I'm lowering this so you guys can get as close as possible. <laughs> it is not an earthquake. Speaking of disasters, there's this really old, it used to be the Ambassador Hotel. If you guys like Google it, you can see. Um, they were going to make it into lofts. They were like transforming it. And I think it may have been a historical, maybe not a landmark, mm, but it was old. And um, if you watch my Snapchat, you can see it. They're still putting it out today. So it apparently caught on fire, but the people who are building it, word on the street is, have long run out of money. Like it's a project they've been working on for years. If we don't know that. Don't say word on the street. Well, that means it's not an official word. But we don't know that. Don't, I don't need somebody calling us up and being like, what do you know about this? Oh, I don't know anything about it. Worldwide. Rumor is. No, there's not even a rumor. People are talking about it. That makes it the rumor. <laughs> In any case, it caught on fire and it's still burning. It started at like 2 a.m. Y'all are still talking about strawberry shortcake? I want some. Okay, this is a clear canvas. And so I wanna make sure it stays mostly clear. So uh, I don't know if you guys are getting tired of negative space or not, but I'm going to do a negative space piece. And this, you're probably right, B, it's too much, but I'm just going to wipe some of it back into the cup. No harm, no foul. Also, I like having a thicker, clear, as y'all know, um, so that there's that lift. I'm not pushing it all the way over the edge just yet, even though this is a right angle edge. I just, I don't wanna waste any resin. I don't want any of it to fall off. Waste not, want not. That's what she said before she finished her sentence. Y'all. <clears throat> okay. This is gonna look so weird because it's mostly transparent. Are you gonna swipe it? I'm not sure. Possible? Yeah, let me grab some swipes just in case. How do you push it to the edge? Huh? I also wanted to grab some this. Okay, I got my swipes. Jen, you stay ready. And I'm opening some of this purple sapphire from Resin Art because I'm anticipating wanting something sparkly and opaque in this piece. So I'm thinking about mixing it in once I have um, everything the way I want it, just for some accent lines. Love the color of the tape. Bev, you're one of like seven people that I know that love the color orange. You're rare. So. Can I help you? What's your problem? It's like not. Even. I know it's not to the edge. Put it to the edge. 
So that was the Bondi Blue. This next one, I hope I've... I hope I've mixed this in well enough. Hi, Netherlands. This isn't going to be as pretty as it's going to be like when we take the um, tape off because the orange is going to discolor everything somewhat. It's a great color. Yeah, it's definitely going to change up the color the way it looks. And if you just joined us, this is a clear a clear clock face with orange tape underneath it. Yeah, it's not gonna be orange on the base. Sorry, Bev. It is a temporary. I'm also gonna mix up a little bit of just resins, titanium. because I want a little bit of lacing along with my amazing web spider web cells. So where the rule with the base tents are, it has to be on the bottom. The rule with white paste is has to be on the top. How I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna do it. How many of y'all out there have made a clock before? Okay. I'm really hoping this does as fun of things as I feel like it's gonna. Make sure when you're swiping that none of your ends are pointed. I don't know if you guys can see that. How does that person, how do you say the name? Saskia? Saskia Smith? Just to kind of show you guys how much of an angle that you swipe with. Oh, that's going to look so amazing when it's like dried on the other side. Oh yeah. And look at that teal, goes over that pink, makes that purple. Look at that, y'all. So Rob, we said hey. That's so fun. What colors did you use? The blue is Bondi base tint from Color Obsession. The red is Red Raspberry from Resin Art. This white line and this white line are Stone Coat White base tint. And this white line is just Resin's Titanium. Nice camera work, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Amber, don't be nervous. Just do it. Nervous or not, you shouldn't let that keep you from... What kind of paper are you using? Creating. This is the butcher paper that we sell on our website. It's not butcher paper, but it's very oh. similar to butcher paper. And butcher paper will work just fine. I feel like butcher paper is just a little bit on the heavy side, and if you're light-handed, then that'll be good for you. And if you're heavy-handed, that may not be the best for you. You may need to stick with like a parchment.
These freezer paper is good. It is a lot like Plexi. It's not Plexi. It's um, cast acrylic. And a lot of people have access to things like Plexi and Lucite, possibly cast acrylic, but you have to be careful because if you get the wrong kind of acrylic, it'll craze on you a little bit. And um, this is an example of why you don't want to put the base tint over anything else. As you see here, these areas have cells because I put the color over the base tint. This, I had base tint, color, base tint. Babe, you just said the exact same thing. You need to tell, you need to say what is what, what, what brand is what. So this right here is base tint. Stone base tint coat. what? Stone coat. Okay. And since it's over the top of all of these, there's no cells. Sorry, there's a hair. However, on all these areas, the base tint was on the base and it's selling up just fine. Listen, hair. All right, whoever purchases this is just gonna get a little bit of moo. All How fun is that? A little Aurora borealis -y. I'd let that set for a second. Mm -hmm. Very busy for my taste, but... Do your gold lines and they'll be... Lisa, I can't wait to see. <clears throat> I'm adding a little bit of purple sapphire to this red. And if the color's pretty enough, I'll add it in, but it's not. So we're gonna scrap it. What do you think, B? What are you gonna do with that? I thought about adding it, but. Maybe just do a line through that white. This white? Yeah. And then put a, put a gold line through it. thing or just heat it up and, and blow on it so that you're not heating it all up again like right. so much Right. 
So I need to fix this. <clears throat> Gold? Yeah. No, it's just the one layer. The orange is just tape on the bottom. Can't wait till these guys sell up. You have to have some big, like, bright yellow arms for the clock. <laughs> bright yellow would be fun arms. Mm. Cannot wait to see what this looks like with the back pulled off of it. Just cleaning up what may be dripping on the back before I move it to our dust free area. Be right back. left a little bit of white some gold I don't think I have enough resin to pour on that mm -hmm. give me the um, those half coasters Jen I am really good at making not amazing things So we've got half coasters. I'm just going to test how it um, handles resin, which should be fine, but you never know. I'm going to just dip this one. I'm going to show you guys what I have here, what I'm using to hold this camera up and over. Uh, what she's doing it's a tripod i got on amazon it's got like this ball joint that um let's see if you unscrew this this guy you can go back and forth put it out above your piece um let's see here and then if you pull it just a little bit It'll go down into itself. And then you have this a whole part right here that can go up as well. So this is a pretty, pretty high standing tripod. So if you guys want to spend a little money, I think they're like 114, I believe. I mean, I think that's what I got mine for. But they're really sturdy. But they're very sturdy, very worth the money. I have it linked in the description box, yeah, I believe. Yeah, we, we have it in the description box. 
just wanted to show you that so you can get an idea of what they look like. And it turns in every way that you can imagine. Can't you turn it into a walking stick or something? Yeah, like one of the legs comes off that you can put your, uh, your phone holder on there, a camera holder. don't know um, I did find this one let me I'll show you what I'm using for this phone holder which is really nice um, I got this separate on Amazon this little guy and this literally just slips right into there like the little adapter that has for cameras it did come with with a holder um, it did not come with this thing though, one like this, but you can use that because that screws right into that and this little piece will go right into here and you can actually screw that one onto there too in that middle hole. So it's a good, it's a good little piece of equipment to, to get. Remember when we used to make coasters just that's all we were doing for like our events and stuff yeah. and that's all we did we would put color on swish swish blow it done yeah as long as they're really vibrant not too busy man they would sell like crazy y'all So fun. A nice one. I can't see it. Mm. You have to come there. <laughs> Man, that's a great looking one there. That's why I kind of overload my gold so that it floats and flex what gold like is that? that that is just is that resin that? oh i thought that was that that uh pinata just resin what bright gold oh, yeah just to see I mean, it's all just a test, right? Jeff, can I reserve two of the clock boards to purchase a weekend of the class? Res it up. Um, I can make some. I don't know if there's any available right now. Well, how many did we put down? We put five on the website. We only put five because I only made five. So, but I'm going to go. Uh, we'll have them for you. Yeah. Is what he's saying. We'll definitely have some. No idea what's happening over here. I'm not sure what she's doing. She's just playing with alcohol inks she's and resin. Making a mess. <laughs> it almost looks like like inside of a like a pearl. Isn't that what resin is? Just making a mess. Anyways, it's just a test. Time to eat. Show them my that. 
All right, we're about done here, y'all. We're gonna show you this piece that she's working on. It's all alcohol inks. How much fun is that? Doing a little experimentation. So much fun. Colors are amazing on this thing. I would hang this above my bed. Like, look at the golds. Like, it looks great. Yeah, there you go. You can see the golds there. So, we're going to go eat. We got some salads. Num, 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 num salads. And yeah, uh, salads. we will see you guys tomorrow. Around 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. Right. Probably. I can't Probably not. It may happen. In any case, thanks for watching and seeing what we're up to, y'all. Thanks for watching, y'all. Be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Mm -hmm. And just smile. And just know that your creativity is never sleeping. So get on it. Yeah, get on it. Y'all have an awesome Tuesday. Bye.